TB control, as with any other program in Nigeria, will suffer from challenges that are peculiar to the health system of the country. Service delivery capacity, health financing capacity, areas that impede the effectiveness of the functioning of health services within the country. TB is curable, but it takes about six months to treat a case of tuberculosis. And you take many drugs at the same time. The major problem is getting drugs to the patient at the right time, at the right dosage, for the right duration. We worked with the national program to assess the health system and supportive supervision was discovered to be very integral to making sure that services are delivered efficiently and to the right quality. Patients must be observed taking their drugs to ensure compliance and to ensure that the drugs are taken for adequate duration of treatment to prevent development of drug resistant tuberculosis. We worked with the national program to identify their priority needs. What we did was look at the way the system worked at that time. Paperwork work was cumbersome. There were a likelihood of human error in writing, in entering the data from the paper to the computers. Even at the level of analyzing it could bring errors. This is where we felt technology could be of help. And that was what brought in the idea of the smartphone. This tool helped to easily identify the facility's performance. The national program started to develop an electronic tool to enhance and make supervision more effective. Uh, the smartphone has a TB supportive supervision application. I visit health facilities in my LG every month. And uh, when I get there, I go straight to the TB clinic. I ask questions, I check their data, generate data from them. If there's a complaint, I make sure I tackle it. They move to the pharmacy, check the stock level. The smartphone is better than what we used to do before. It's faster. Immediately you finish your work, the analysis is done and the problem areas are flagged. I see how effective the health worker is attending to our patients and how well they understand what they're doing. At the end of the day, you have to develop an action plan working with the health facility. Health workers will, of course, also work with us because they, they appreciate this is something we can sit down with and actually ask and answer the questions together. At the end of the day, it's going to improve the quality of work they are able to put out and, of course, the patients ultimately will benefit from a higher level of care. Another major buying point for this activity was the online database. Before now, we are using the paper-based method to collect our quarterly reports from all the LGAs within the state. But now the smartphone is going to help us because when their reports have been sent to the database, we have an overview so that when we go for our quarterly review meetings, we'll be able to pinpoint the, the problem areas and to find solutions to these problems. I am seeing in Nigeria a future where data will inform planning, and we are setting the platform for that to happen by doing this. The know-how was transferred. So within the country now, we can respond to issues or challenges which may arise using the smartphone. Now you can inform policy and planning based on evidence using information to take quality decisions that affect the status of health for a country. It's for me already a success, and I'm confident that it's something that can work anywhere in Nigeria.